In this video, I'll show how to build a Power Automate flow to extract information from invoices and save them automatically to an Excel file. We will use Power Automate AI Builder to read and extract data from invoice documents. AI Builder uses artificial intelligence to understand and extract information from documents without manual data entry. I will demonstrate two versions of this flow. First, we will build a flow that processes multiple invoices from a folder. Then, we will create a mobile version where you can capture invoice photos using the Power Automate mobile app and instantly save the data. I have other videos showing how to extract shipping labels to save the data in an Excel file and scan business cards to save them as Outlook contacts. You will find the links in the video description. Let's get started. I am in the Power Automate dashboard. First, we need to create a custom prompt in the AI Builder that will extract the content from the invoices. Navigate to AI Hub. Under AI Models, Microsoft already has a pre-built AI model for invoice extraction, but it requires training with sample documents and marking the fields you want to extract. Instead of using these, we'll create a custom prompt that works immediately without training. Under AI Hub, I'll select Prompts. Here I'll select Build Your Own Prompt. In the Instructions field, I'll paste my prompt. Here I am asking the AI model to extract these fields. Vendor name, invoice number, invoice data, invoice date, due date, item name, quantity, unit price, and amount. The prompt returns data as a JSON array, where each element represents one line item from the invoice. JSON is a structured format that Power Automate can easily read and process, making our automation more reliable. I have added normalization rules. The date should be in this format. Numbers should be plain numbers without currency symbols or commas. Missing values return empty string for the text and zero for the numbers. The prompt also include calculation rules. If the rate is missing but amount and quantity exist, it calculates rate by dividing amount by the quantity. If amount is missing, it multiplies rate by quantity. Now I need to replace this document input placeholder with a file input. I'll delete the text here and select this add content option and select image or document. The default AI model is GPT 4.1 mini. GPT 4.1 mini is fast and cost effective for this task. You can use other models if your scenario needs more complex reasoning. In the model response, I'll change the output format to JSON. This returns structured data that we can easily map to the Excel columns. Let's test with a sample invoice. I'll select this document input and upload an invoice. And click the test button. The model extracts all the data in a few seconds. You can see the vendor name, invoice number, dates, and all line items with their quantities and amounts, formatted exactly as we specified. You can see the invoice and the output side by side. These are the line items. The prompt is ready. I'll name this prompt Invoice Data Extractor. And I'll save this. Now let's prepare the Excel file where we will store the data. I'll create a new Excel file. I'll name the file to Invoice Data Log. I'll add the column headers. Vendor name, invoice number, invoice date, due date, item name, quantity, unit price, and amount. We need to format these as a table so Power Automate can reference it. I'll select the range. I'll select format as table and select a style from this list. I'll check this my tables has headers option and click the OK button. Now the range is formatted as a table. Under the table design menu, I can see the name of the table, table 1. You can change the name of the table. I'll keep the default name table1. Now let's build the Power Automate flow. In the Power Automate dashboard, I'll go to Create and select Instant Cloud Flow. I'll name it Extract Invoice Data and select the Manually Trigger a Flow option and click this Create button. 
First we need to read the invoice files from the folder. Here is our OneDrive folder where I'll store all the invoices. I'll add an action and I'll search for list files in a folder. I'll select this action list files in a folder from OneDrive for business. Here I need to specify the folder. I'll click this open folder icon. I'll navigate to root and select this folder invoice files. Now we need to process each file through our AI prompt. We need a loop to process the files one by one. I'll add an action here. I'll search for apply to each. I'll select this control apply to each. For the input, I'll click here and select this option enter the data from previous step and select the output of the list files in folder action. Inside the loop, I'll add an action to get the file content. I'll click this plus icon. I'll search for get file content. I'll select this get file content action under OneDrive for business. For the identifier of the files, I'll select this option enter the data from previous step and I'll select the ID from the list files in folder action. The ID uniquely identifies each file. I'll add the next action. I'll select the run a prompt action under AI capabilities. For the prompt, I'll select our invoice data extractor prompt. For the document input, I need to pass the file content from the previous step. I'll click here, select this option and select the output of the get file content action. This is the output file content. We will get the extracted data from this run a prompt action. Now we need to save the data in the Excel file. I'll add the next action and I'll search for add row in a table. I'll select this add a row into a table under Excel online business. For the location of the Excel file, I'll select OneDrive for business. For the document library, I'll select OneDrive. For the file, I'll click this open folder and locate the file. This is our file invoice data log. In the file, we have created a table. The name of the table is table one. I'll select the table. Now I'll expand advanced parameters to show all columns and map the fields. These are the columns from the Excel table. I'll select all the columns here. For the vendor name, I'll select this option, enter the data from previous step and from the run a prompt action, I'll click this see more option and select the vendor name field. For the invoice number, I'll select the invoice number. For the invoice date, I'll select the invoice date. For the due date, I'll select the due date. For the item name, I'll select the item name. For the quantity, I'll select the quantity here. For the unit price, I'll select the unit price. For the amount, I'll select the amount. Now I'll save the flow. Let's test it. I have two invoices in the folder. I'll click the test button. Select the manually option and click this test button again. I'll click this continue button and run the flow. The flow is running. Let's check the Excel file and the flow side by side. You can see in the Excel file, it is adding the rows. Now it is processing the second invoice. The flow run is complete. All invoice data has been extracted. It created multiple rows for the invoices with multiple line items. It handled all the data correctly. Now let's create a mobile version of this flow. I'll save a copy of the flow. I'll click the save as and name this flow extract invoice data mobile. I'll save it. This is the copied flow. I'll open it. I'll turn it on and then I'll edit this flow. I'll click this icon to expand all the actions. Since on the mobile, we will capture one invoice at a time. We don't need the folder listing or this loop. I'll drag this run a prompt action after the trigger and then I'll drag this for each loop after the run a prompt action. Now I can delete these actions here. Right click delete. Right click delete and OK. 
I'll select the trigger and here I'll add an input and I'll select file. This allows uploading or capturing an image when running the flow on the mobile. In the run a prompt action, I'll connect the file content from the trigger. I'll delete this document input. Also, I'll remove this item and source. And here for the document input, I'll click this enter the data from previous step and select the file content content bytes from the trigger. The Excel mapping remains the same. Now let's test it on the Power Automate mobile app. This is the invoice I will test the flow with. I have the Power Automate mobile application installed on my phone. I can see our new flow here. Extract invoice data mobile. I'll tap the three dots and select run flow. It asks for a file input. I'll tap the file content and select the option launch the camera. I'll capture the invoice and tap use photo and then the run flow button. The flow processes the image and extract the data in seconds. I can see the new invoice data has been added perfectly. Each time you need to process an invoice, just run the flow, capture the photo and the data saves automatically. Perfect for small businesses and field workers processes paper invoices in seconds instead of typing them manually. For multiple invoice processing, keep the files in the folder and run the flow we designed initially. The flow can handle hundreds of invoices. I have tested it with 50 invoices at once without any issues. You can modify the AI prompt to extract additional fields or change the format as needed. The method works for receipts, purchase orders, delivery notes or any structured documents. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave your feedback in the comments below. Thank you for watching.